Hi, Super Stallions. Today we're going to review a couple of watercolor techniques. We are going to look at what a resist does to our paints. We're going to look at a tape resist and an oil pastel resist. And then we're going to look to see what salt and plastic wrap and um, paper towel do in terms of texture. Let's do it. All right, let's start with some tape. And I've torn this painter's tape so the line's a little bit more thin and a little more natural, like a drawn line. Anywhere I use tape is going to be white, so it's allowing me to work negatively. So I'm thinking about this sort of tree shape with my tape. I'm going to set it on my paper, tear smaller pieces if I want to, and just kind of press them down. They need to stay on my paper until um, the next time I have art. I can tear them really skinny if I want to. Same sort of idea as using oil pastels because the paint will glide right over it. So I could use a white oil pastel to make skinnier branches on my tree. I'm gonna press nice and hard, especially if it's hard to see what I'm doing. I can do the same thing with different colors of oil pastel or crayons. So if I want some green leaves on my tree, I could add them now. And I could do that white oil pastel anywhere on my paper, let's say, I want to add some cloud shapes or some star shapes or I want to outline something with the oil pastel I could totally do that then I'm gonna start painting I'm gonna use my big red brush and get my color nice and mixed in the paint set I know that I don't mix colors in the paint set but that I certainly can on my paper I'm gonna start painting on my paper to make bright colors I'm gonna use lots of paint and less water not so it's sticky, but so the color's nice and bright. If I want to mix colors, I'm going to remember to rinse my brush off before I get my next color, and then I can just let them mix on my paper. If it's too much of a color, I'll just switch to the next one. So the other things we're going to add today to our painting are salt, plastic wrap, and we're going to try a little paper towel. And they're all things that need to sit on our painting while it's drying in the rack. So if I add them to my painting today, I'm gonna put them in the rack and let them sit till the next time I have art. So I'm painting right on top of that tape and right on top of the oil pastel. So the first thing we'll try is salt. And the first thing to know about salt is that it needs to sit on a really wet spot in your painting. It can't be all dried up already. And there needs to be plenty of paint and plenty of water for it to work. So if I wanna add a little salt to my cloud right here, I'm gonna get plenty of paint in there and plenty of water. And then I'm gonna take my salt and I just want just a little pinch of salt. So just a tiny little bit in my hand and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on my paper. It's really important to not move the salt after you put it down. I don't wanna move the salt, I just wanna let it sit there until my painting is all done. I'll use my plastic rack to make kind of a land space right here. I don't want it really flat because it won't do anything. I want it kind of crumpled up into a shape, but again, it won't work where the paint's starting to dry. So I need my paint and my water to be nice and thick on my paper. Wetter than we normally would. Wetter than, wetter than we'd normally leave our paper. Once it's nice and wet and there's plenty of paint, then I can crumple my plastic wrap up, kind of set it down real gently and let it sit. Again, if I move it, just like the salt, it's not gonna have the same effect. Last thing we're gonna look at is paper towel and I've torn up some paper towel and I can just kind of set it in wet spots. Or if I have a particular spot I want it to sit, again, I'll get plenty of paint and let the paper towel sit right there. Again, if I move it, it's not really gonna give me much texture. It's not gonna do a lot. So I'm gonna let these sit, and then we're going to look at them tomorrow after they're all dry.